Hey, here we are in the hoops at Country Magic. This is the answer to extended season for strawberries right up to Thanksgiving. This is pretty cool. Check this out. Mines. There's something about these grape tomatoes that are just incredible. So these are blackberries, but they turn red first and then they turn black as they ripen, which is pretty cool. And look, nice, beautiful chunk. Mm. Hey, these blueberries are ripening on the, on the vine. Would you say vine? I would say vine. They are actually perfect for the picking. Check this out. Nice and blue, perfect. Country Magic, one of the largest producers of high bush blueberries in Atlantic Canada under the Country Magic brand. Hey everybody, we are live into the farm kitchen. Okay, what are we making? So we are making a cobbler with a twist and here's the twist. Tomato, a fruit or a vegetable? You guys don't pick a turnip. Well, you're a know-it-all, so what? tell us what it's it is. It's a fruit because it grows a flower and it has seeds. Oh! That's why it's a fruit. Shh. Gotta like it. And it also marries really well with other fruit. Exactly. So we're gonna throw it into our cobbler. Exactly. And you can throw it in green or you can throw it in ripe. Either way is is fine. You could do green tomatoes if you wanted to, of course. Okay. And But we have these amazing little grape tomatoes. All right, so we're making well, a cobbler. Well, that's why we're so proud of Country Magic. I mean, they are one of the best. Absolutely. Definitely. So we're making a cobbler. Well, I'm just cutting out the uh, tomatoes. Are you, right. you want to tell gonna us We're going to kind of wing it today. We don't really have a recipe. We're just kind of here. We got in the car this morning. Yeah. Um, we loaded Figgy up. We have uh, Sarah and Brent with us. So we're They're putting what? Some filming. Five so we're or just six kind of cups winging of fruit? It. Yeah, I say six cups of fruit. So um, it's fair to say we'll take all the tomatoes. And our oven is preheated at uh, preheating. I think it may be ready by now. It is at 350 degrees. Okay. So once we get all this put together, we're going to make. That's my toe, by the way. That's your, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, just show you. Right, once all this is put together, we're going to make a, a sort of a soft, uh, soft dough topping. A drop, oh, oh, a that's, drop batter, basically. That's my toe. I'm not moving my oh, feet. Those small feet of yours, they're in the way. going to start with um, some all-purpose flour. I have a cup and a half. I am going to add a third of a cup of white sugar. I could admit this is a pretty cool baking day. It is. Don't you think? I'm going to add, see now you move everything around. So now I'm pretty sure that's my baking powder and my cornstarch has got to go over there for I'm filling to thicken it up. You're going to get blamed anyway. Right? So that's what it is. Then we have some butter and we're going to cut that butter in. Now I'm going to add half a cup of milk to this or so. I'm going to see how it goes. Toss yep, toss those up. Normally I like to use buttermilk, but the farmhouse kitchen had whole milk, so that's what we're using. Okay. There we go. We toss these. So that was half a cup, but I think I'm going to use a little bit more. That's not as wet as I would like. I want to these be. tomatoes to be coming out. Look that nice color, don't we? I know there's a lot of people thinking that's, that's just ridiculous. Who puts tomatoes into a cobbler? But trust us on this one. No, I'm not, I'm not, we're not wrong on this one. You're really going to enjoy this one. I just about fell over. Our fruit stores at home have so much suction, you really have to pull. There we go. That's what happens when you're not home. Perfect. Okay, your berries are mixed up. So my drop batter is ready. So it's a nice loose batter. I'm just going to spoon it on top. The berries are ready. Snap. So to the berries, we're going to add some things though before I put it in the bowl. Okay. To the berries? Yep, we're going to add a tiny bit of sugar. You can see there's not much in there. Oh, wow, that's not a lot. No, it's you not. Want to toss that too? Yep, you're going to add a couple teaspoons of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Okay. Just to perk up those. Not that they need a lot of perking up, but it'll actually enhance the fruit flavors even further. So it's lemon. Yep, lemon, sugar. We're going to add uh, just a, a pinch of salt. I need a bit more. Yep, go for it. Perfect, just a little bit. Okay, and a teaspoon of that vanilla, if you don't mind. Yeah. And you can just eyeball that. Can I? Sure. And I'm just going to grab a couple spoons here. There Perfect. We go. And we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch. 
because these fruits are going to release some liquid and the cornstarch is just going to help thicken that liquid up a little bit. So you don't do, you mix you that? You don't need to make a slurry. You can just put it straight in and mix it all together. So you're saying the fruits, the fruits will be dégagé a lot of juice? Yes. Well, no, I wouldn't say a lot, not as much as frozen no, fruits will, still. but they will still release some juice. Yeah, you so can see it in the strawberries You can see it as, as you start working them, they start yeah. releasing some. And most of the liquid will come from those strawberries and tomatoes. Okay, so now I'm going to... A little bit more there. You just don't want to see that white of the cornstarch. You want to mix it in really well. Oh, you're well. talking to me? I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. Perfect. I'm just making sure it's pretty cool. That is perfect. I, okay. I, I, I can't get over how cool this is going to be. Look, we literally picked these out of the field like less than an hour ago, yeah. and we're eating them. This is about as fresh as fruit gets. Look at that. Unless you're literally out there. In goes the fruit. We don't perfect. need to butter our pan because oh, there's enough liquid. Oh, there's enough peppers around to get there's that. There's enough liquid in there's there. There's enough liquid. We don't have to butter. Okay. I want those tomatoes. Spread you around sure. a little bit here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look how gorgeous that is. Can you guys see the colors in that? The tomatoes and the strawberries. Oh, God. We actually make a green so, tomato cobbler sometimes. That's pretty good as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we're just gonna do what, like five, six, seven. Uh, whatever, items? whatever you or have. Do we put a whole coat on it. Yeah, you're just gonna make oh, well, whatever size you want. I usually here, I'll put two right on top of the fruit, just like that. Just like that. And it's a drop batter. See, you're yeah. just you're dropping it on. Gotcha. Just like that. Yeah, pretty cool there, Joe. This is gonna be so good. And sometimes if I have a little raw, whoops, I dropped a little bit. If I have a little raw sugar, I'll put it on top. You want to put a little. You can put a little white sugar on top if you want. Did you add salt? I did. Okay, is that enough? I oh, know, we're going to use all our batter up. Are you? Yeah. Well, then it looks like a big... A, a big water. Nothing. Oh, good. It'll bake up beautifully, trust me. Oh, I trust you. I know what you were you were envisioning, Most sort of like individual biscuits for you. And now you're making a mess. Of okay, so do you want to sprinkle some white sugar on there? Well, It'll give a little added sweetness you didn't to give it. Give me white sugar. Oh yeah. There's a bag of it. Bag the raw sugar would crystallize, and you'd see it on top. It gives you a nice a nice look. Nothing like raw sugar. A bag. Raw sugar won't do that, but it will sweeten your biscuit on the top a little bit more. Perfect. That's all there is to that. That whoa whoa whoa. You can just settle down there. Just settle down. Uh, that's all there is to it. It's going to go in the it. oven at 350, 350 degrees for about 50, maybe 55 minutes. And uh, then we'll pull it out and, and we'll, we'll be all set right to go. In. Our buzzer is ring. Joanne, do you want to bring our okay. cobbler out? It's been 55 minutes, so let's take a peek. 55. Oh, that looks really good. All right, look at this. Oh. See, we did see all the juices that came out of Oh, look at those tomatoes in there. Oh, I know. Look at them. Oh. Just now, if we let that sit, if we were a little more patient, we let that sit for half an hour. Those juices would thicken up a little bit more. You want to wipe? Sure. All right. Pass me that wipe, please. And I'll get the second bowl in. So oh. yeah, I would recommend letting it sit for at least at least 20 minutes I when it comes out of the oven. Ian's childhood is going to come out tonight. Do you think? Oh, oh yeah, that tomato. I'm telling you. Look, our blackberries look like raspberries. We said we didn't have raspberries, but that's exactly what they look like now. I've taken on the color from the strawberries. And of course, we could add. Oh, this is so good, Joe. It smells amazing. We could add to this a big scoop of ice cream, of course, lots of whipped cream, something like that. But as is, oh. try it with those tomatoes in there. Let's okay. see what we did. This is my portion here? Sure. Oh. I'm going to try. Oh, look, there's one of the tomatoes there. I know. Oh, I want juice, though. It's hot. You want to try it? It's hot. Be careful. It's dripping in my hand. Oh, it's hot. Here, do you want the cloth? <laughs> What did the tomatoes do for it? They add that meatiness. Really, really interesting. They bring in that element of acidity to the whole thing, but very, very meaty. Mm. 